Hey, hey, what's going on, boys and girls? It's Pastor Steven here. I just want you to know that we are going to continue services a little bit different, but we still want to come and have services every single Sunday. And first off, I want to say, guys, I completely miss you so much. It is so boring here all by myself. And I tell you that every week. When you're here, if nobody was here, it would be boring. Right now, I'm kind of bored, so I'll be super excited to have you guys back together and us continuing as normal whenever that happens. So, But until then, we want to continue having services and focusing on Jesus, Jesus. So first off, you know, we do this every single week, and I want you to say this as loud as you can, okay? In your room, in your home, wherever you're at right now, what is this? Yep, it's the Bible. It's God's Word, yeah? If it says it, you should... Do it. Yeah, good job. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, so that's going to bring us to our next point. We know that God's Word is inspired by the Holy Spirit, and people wrote it down, but now we're going to focus on our verse of the week. So we're going to go ahead and throw that on the screen. So here we go. Can you repeat after me? This is found in Mark chapter 9, verse 35, and I want everyone to repeat after me at the count of three. One, two, three. Say, Jesus called the 12 and said, anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. All right, right now, what I want you to do is I want you to think about what words stuck out to you. So on the count of three, I want you to yell a word or a phrase that you believe the Holy Spirit spoke to you during this verse. One, two, three. Nice, nice. Those are good words. Nicely done. All right, so what this verse is saying is, man, if you want to be the best, you need to be a servant. And we're going to find that out as we go over today's big Bible story found in John. All right. Is John New or Old Testament? Yeah, it's in the New Testament. So here we go. Open up your Bibles to John chapter 13. So while you guys are finding your uh, chapter right now, we just want to remind you that we're going through all the different teachings and uh, the way that Jesus wants us to live and react to the world. And uh, this is one thing that is so interesting because it's the exact opposite of how most people think it should have been done. So here we go. You guys good? Give me two thumbs up if you're good. Nice. Nice. Thank you for those thumbs. All right. We're going to start in chapter 13, verse 1. Before the Passover celebration... Jesus knew that his hour had come to leave this world and return to his father. He now showed the disciples the full extent of his love. It was time for supper, and the devil had already enticed Judas, son of Simon, to carry out his plan to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped the towel around his waist, and poured water into the basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet. Are you kidding me? His feet? And to wipe them with a towel he had, he had around him. When he came to Simon Peter, Simon told him, Lord, why are you going to wash my feet? And then Jesus replied, you don't understand now why I'm, why I'm doing it, but someday you will. Then Peter said, no, you will never wash my feet. And then Jesus replied, but if I don't wash you, you won't belong to me. Man, that's in your face. So Peter, here we are. He's a man that has been following Jesus for, he's given up everything to follow Jesus, and he can't imagine his leader, his boss, whatever you want to call him, his best friend, washing his dirty feet. Now, let's rewind here. Let's rewind. We got to remember, this isn't today. They didn't have socks like we have. They didn't have awesome Target brand shoes like these, like these shoes. 
Um, they they didn't have Jordans or KJs or whatever whatever shoes you have nowadays. They did not have these. They had sandals, and they walked around not on pavement or streets, but on dirt roads. So right here, I have some dirt. Okay, this is dirt that I went outside and dug with my bare hands. And then I also found some sand. They probably walked on some sand. So you have to imagine their feet were nasty. These were nasty feet that Jesus was washing. Um, so just to give you an example, uh, we don't really have anyone here. So I'm going to wash my own feet. So this, this is kind of defeats the point of the whole thing, but no one else is here to help me. So I want to make sure that I'm applying with the rules of the land, and that is social distancing. So imagine me right here washing my own feet, which I will display right now. The whole point that Jesus is washing somebody else's feet, but no one else is here, so we're just going to do it this way. So here we go. My feet right now aren't too aren't too bad nice beautiful glossy feet that i wash every day which you should wash every day but for the sake of this beautiful thing i'm going to dirty up these bad boys all right so here we go i'm going to put the microphone down so i got some uh dirt right here i'm going to rub it all over these feet you know, there's a lot of places that you can actually pay to get your feet massaged in mud, but not often do you really want to do this. So I've got some, got some mud applied to one foot. Let's get the other one. Yeah. Man, that's looking really good. I don't know about you, but would you want to wash my feet currently right now? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you would. I know some of you are saying, yeah, I would totally love to wash your feet, but nah, you, nah, you wouldn't. Got my feet going. Okay, let's add some sand. Let's add some sand. Okay. Let's add some sand on here. Get it in there. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. This is good. All right, so we're getting pretty dirty. My feet are getting pretty dirty. You can see there's some good dirt on there. So can you imagine right now taking your beautiful little hands and just scrubbing my feet down? Yeah, no way. No one would want to do that. But Jesus was displaying something because every time you entered a house back then, you wouldn't want to bring your dirty feet into the house. So what they would do is they'd have someone, a servant or someone lower in the class at the house that would actually come and wash their feet. So yeah, again, Jesus, the son of God, the savior of the world, washing his disciples' feet, super weird. I forgot a towel, by the way. So here we go, Jesus, washing the feet. And this is just me just pouring water over it. And honestly, there's still a lot of dirt residue on my feet. So I got to get in there and scrub. I get in there and scrub to get my feet completely clean. It doesn't just take a minute. So remember, Jesus washing the feet of Peter, washing the feet of his disciples, was sitting here for a minute washing their feet, washing their dirty, nasty feet. And then he said something to Peter, if I don't wash your feet, then you will not be a part of me. What does that say about Jesus? Let me grab my microphone. What does that say about Jesus? This is exactly what the verse that we went over today, that if you want to be the best, you need to be a servant. So that reminds me of our big so what. So here's what all that I'm going to sum it up real quick. It's that Jesus served others and wants us to do the same. So let's say that all together and count of three. One, two, three. Jesus served others 
and wants us to do the same. While we're at home, you're stuck in your house, I want you to challenge yourself. How can I serve my parents? How can I serve my siblings? Figure out ways to serve around the home. You're going to have plenty of time to do stuff. And what do we do? How do we figure out this? Who can we ask for help? That's right. We can ask the Holy Spirit. So let's all bow our head and close our eyes. And we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to give us ideas this week on better ways that we can serve our families. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much just for who you are and that you provided a way of salvation through your son Jesus by dying on the cross for our sins. As we remember how you lived and how you served others, help us to find ways to serve others. Holy Spirit, right now, put ideas in our brains that we can serve someone else this week and be more like you, Jesus. And everybody said... Amen. Awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you want more information on what we're doing during the week, please visit our website, cvchurch.org, and go down to the discipleship. There should be a little link that says Kids and Tiny Valley. Click on that, and that'll have all the resources you need to keep connected during this time. Thank you so much, and God bless.